Marth is probably one of the most well-known Fire Emblem characters in the West due to his inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Melee, released in 2001. But how much do you really know about him? Hey guys, I'm Super Radical, and this is a brief history of Fire Emblem. Who is Marth, Prince of Altea? Marth is the Prince of Altea, an island kingdom off the continent of Arcanea. He is the son of King Cornelius and Queen Lisa, and the younger brother to Elise. Many people originally didn't know a lot about Marth due to his featured games never making it over to the West. However, with the release of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon in the Blade of Light remake, aptly named Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon on the DS, a wider population finally got to experience the famous backstory firsthand. Shadow Dragon starts off like many other games within the series. It centers on a lord, Marth, and his army of soldiers, recruited mercenaries, and friends. The betrayal and death of Marth's father, as well as an attack on his homeland, starts Marth and his army on a journey to retake his home of Altea, save his family, and stop Medeus, the Shadow Dragon. To do this, Marth befriends Princess Nina and her husband, Commander Hardin, receiving the Shield of Seals in the process. Marth holds on to this for the rest of Fire Emblem 1. The rest of the game focuses on Marth and his battle against Medeus and his henchman, Garnef. They also search for Falchion, Marth's father's legendary sword. The sword was said to be used to kill Medeus some 100 years ago by legendary hero, Henri. Marth manages to find Falchion and save his kidnapped sister, but not his mother who dies off screen. In the final battle, Marth manages to vanquish Medeus. Finally, at the end of the game, Marth gets engaged to his childhood friend, Cheetah. Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem is the third game in the Fire Emblem series and the direct sequel to Shadow Dragon. It even had its own remake on the Nintendo DS console, but neither the original game nor the remake ever made it over to the West. Due to this, a lot of casual Fire Emblem fans don't know a lot about this aspect of Mars' life without reading about it on a wiki. Around three years after the events of the first game, Commander Hardin has become the tyrannical emperor of Arcanea and uses his power to convince Marth and his group to go out and stop multiple rebellions around the continent. This turns out to be a trap and causes Altea to once again be attacked. Just to show how truly evil Hardin had become, he went from this to this. I mean, come on. Meanwhile, a bunch of princesses are being kidnapped. Most importantly, Nina and Marth's sister, Elise, for a second time. Marth learns that the Shield of Seals' true power is unlocked when five spheres are placed into the shield's alcoves. The Star Sphere, the Light Sphere, the Dark Sphere, the Geosphere, and the Life Sphere. The Geosphere had been retrieved by Marth in Fire Emblem 1, and the Star Sphere had been shattered into 12 pieces to be later collected throughout the rest of the game. It turns out that Garnef never really died, and he used Hardin's jealousy of Marth to coax him into using the Dark Sphere, which ultimately turned him into this evil steamroller of a man. Now the princesses around the continent are being used to resurrect Medeus. Marth and his army collect the remaining spheres while teaming up with the iconic dragon girl, Tiki. Using the collected spheres, they defeat Hardin, taking the Dark Sphere in the process. Finally, Marth and co. use the fully powered Shield of Seals to defeat Garnef, retrieve Falchion, which was stolen again, and defeat a semi-resurrected Medeus for the final time, while rescuing the kidnapped princesses. Marth goes on to become the hero king of the entire continent of Arcanea, and goes down in legend as the greatest hero who ever lived. Marth was created by game designer and writer Shozo Kaga, working at Intelligent Systems for the first Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. 
as well as its sequel, Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem. Neither of these games made it over to the West, and it was only with the release of Super Smash Bros. Melee in North America that Fire Emblem became popularized here thanks to the inclusion of Marth and Roy in the series. Though Kaga created the base of the character, the original character designer of Marth is currently unknown, graphics and character art being credited as cooperatively handled by multiple members of the Intelligent Systems team. The original design of Marth had him clad in a blue tunic and cape, along with bracers on his arms and legs. In this image, you can clearly see him holding the Falchion, his iconic weapon that he uses in the majority of series that he appears in. Marth was later redesigned for Mystery of the Emblem by character artist Katsuyoshi Koya. His redesign for the remakes was then handled by Masamune Shiro, the artist of Ghost in the Shell, and redesigned for a final time by Daisuke Izuka for the Mystery of the Emblem remake. Marth received multiple other credited designs for Awakening, Super Smash Bros., and other games that he appeared in. Marth appears in Fire Emblem OVA, an original video animation that takes place within the first couple chapters of Mystery of the Emblem. In the English localization, he is incorrectly named Mars. He is even given a surname of Lowell in the anime, while no mention of this name is brought up in the original games. Marth and Roy first appear in Melee, with Marth appearing in all Super Smash Bros. games that followed. Roy, however, did not appear in Brawl, only to make his return as DLC in Super Smash Bros. 4. It was this inclusion in Melee that helped spark North American interest in the series as a whole, and ultimately led to Fire Emblem 7 and 8 being localized and released on the GBA. Both Marth and Roy are slated to appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. He makes multiple other appearances in games, including Codename Steam, Super Mario Maker, Monster Hunter Generation, and Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Marth is actually a fairly weak unit in the games, due to weak stats and being the only character who can visit villages, meaning he sees less combat overall. He also never receives a promotion throughout the games. However, he does receive the Shield of Seals in his inventory, which provides a plus two bonus to each stat. There is a misconception that the Fire Emblem character Roy has a tie-in with Marth due to their partnered inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Roy's game actually takes place within a separate universe altogether. This is also the first game in the series to take place in a separate universe and is never stated to be connected in any way. Despite it being an incorrect localization of Marth, Debug Code in Melee, written by a Japanese developer, has his name listed as Mars. Marth is one of the only Lord characters within the entire series that is unable to promote in some way. He also starred in more Fire Emblem games than any other protagonist. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be the first Super Smash Bros. game to have Marth speaking English instead of Japanese. However, his first in-game appearance with English voice acting is in Codename Steam. Marth is 14 within the prologue of Shadow Dragon and 16 during the events of the game. In Mystery of the Emblem, he is 19 going on 20, meaning Marth was born in the year 588. While Marth's sword is named Falchion, it is not actually a Falchion, seen here. Funny enough, the weapon is more of a broadsword, yet considered a rapier in the original Fire Emblem game. Although Marth is the featured character within his games, Shozo Kaga has stated that he considers Marth to technically not be the main protagonist. This might be due to many other games within the series not featuring Marth. Marth's English voice actor is Yuri Lowenthal, a popular Western voice actor who has voiced multiple other characters in varying anime and video games. These include Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto and Haseo from GU. Even with the release of the Shadow Dragon remake in the West, there is a whole sequel series revolving around Marth that a lot of people never knew about. A lot of this info can be found online, along with fan patches and translations allowing people to potentially experience the full series of games featuring the Prince of Altea. I'm Super Radical, and hopefully this video helps shed a little bit of light on Hero King Marth for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I plan to post more of these videos for prominent and lesser known Fire Emblem characters, as well as characters from multiple other series. If you have a character you want to know more about in video format, leave a comment and let me know. You can also catch me regularly on Twitch, so stop by and say hello. Until next time, goodbye.